Bonjour, hello, and welcome to my channel, Sarah Sierra Tarot. I am Sarah, and I'm here today to do a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Aries. Aries, we're going to begin with you because you're the beginning of the zodiac. And I will light some sage. Spirits, ancestors, and guides, please guide me today so that I may provide a reading for Aries and those interested in hearing about Aries. The cross, the cross watchers. <laughs> Angel of God, my garden dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side to light, to guard, to rule and guide. From simple stain will keep me free. And at this hour, my helper be. Okay, I got a new oracle deck the Sacred Forest Oracle. I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday. <clears throat> Gotta say, I spent a lot of money. I noticed that I bought this book, and it turns out I already have this book, but I didn't read it yet. So it looks like I'm going to be giving a book to somebody because I live very far away from Barnes & Noble, and yeah. Okay, let's see here. Aries. So this was called the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn. Aries. What does Aries need to know? for whenever they come to this message. Aries. Pegasus, transcending. Looks like you're going through some kind of change, Aries. Pegasus is a magical creature. This is the number 28 card. 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. A new beginning. Spirit gu Guardian of Winter. Retreat. See that snow globe? There's a cabin in there. It's winter time. Going someplace, getting nice and cozy for your new beginning. Maybe you're on a spiritual retreat right now, or you need to go on a spiritual retreat. It is winter. There's not very much snow around here. Normally there's lots of snow, but... And this is a... 38 card, 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 is a master number. And the next card is Bluebell Fairy, Gratitude. This one is a 6 card. Being grateful looking at your life, maybe you're reflecting, looking at your life, all the things that you have to be grateful for. And underneath, ooh, Aries, the Phoenix transformation. I think that you might be at some type of retreat right now. And you're going through like, um, listing out all the things that you're grateful for and Thinking about how you can transcend and you're going to be rising up from the ashes. There's the Phoenix card. It's pretty awesome, Aries. Okay, let's get you the Lightseer's deck.
Oh yeah. And the Phoenix card was a 29 card. Two plus nine is 11. Now you have 11, 11, which is twin flame. Maybe you're reflecting on a twin flame. Your energy, you have the Nine of Swords. You've been in anxiety about something. Sleepless nights. Nine of Wands. Looks like you've been through something very terrible. You got two nines here so far. This is like endings. Some kind of endings. You've been in anxiety about this. There's the Nine of Wands card is a card about going through some kind of terrible or ordeal and deciding that you're healing from it and you're ready to show others how to move forward with that. The next card you get is the Seven of Wands, which is all about boundaries. This woman's pretty zen. She's like sitting on her cushion there and she there's she's she's had to put like this perp this pink ball around her to set up some type of boundary people trying to get at her get in and she's protecting her heart you can see that green light shining there that's her heart chakra oh no I'm sorry it's yellow that's her solar plexus chakra but she's getting into a Zen moment. Solar plexus is all about taking action. And this is saying, make sure that you have your defenses up before you take this action, because you're getting ready to lead others through some kind of difficult time that you've been through. You're ready to talk about it, Aries. Okay, let's see what situation you're dealing with. Strength. Um, strength card is the only card that can overcome the devil card, with, and the devil has to do with addictions. So this strength card here is perhaps maybe having to come overcome something really toxic. Um, could be addictions, could be a toxic work environment, could be a toxic family or family members, friends. Something like that. And then you have here <clears throat> in the center of your reading is you with this blindfold on with the deep in your thoughts. And the two of the two of swords card is about making a decision. Which way should I go? And I need to take my blindfold off. You feel like you've been blindfolded for a very long time. But whatever it is, this Two of Swords, this decision is happening in two days. Wow, pretty fast. Ace of Swords, some kind of truth coming to light. This woman has all the equations that... Um, that shell there, that winding spiral. It's a pattern in life and you've come to see some truth. These equations. Infinity, the sun sign. It's got an equation for a distance formula. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Anyways, um, You've come to realize that there's some kind of patterns and you're trying to make some decision about it. There's some truth, something, some kind of truth coming to light. And the strength card could also be about a Leo. Okay, Aries. What's the outcome? Seven of Pentacles. You've planted the seeds about something. And you're watching something come to fruition, Aries.
Six of Swords. Moving on to calmer waters. That's you getting into a boat and moving across away from something that's been terrible for you. You need more peace in your life. You've been in retreat mode. And you found some kind of peace. <clears throat> and you know what you're grateful for. There's a deer in here, a blue fairy, bluebell fairy. Lights shining down. This looks like a moonlight lit card on the forest. There's all kinds of lilacs in the field. Not lilacs, um, lavender. And then you have also as your outcome, the page of pentacles, which is a money message. So you've planted the seeds about something and it has, and you're now hearing some kind of message about money and you have the ability to move on underneath Aries is the eight of cups walking away, choosing yourself and walking away from something. There's something that you are done with. And you found this by going on some kind of retreat. Okay. Aries. Oopsies. going to get a clarifying card for your energy. Tell me why the Nine of Swords is here. What is this anxiety about? Four of Wands. Some kind of marriage or partnership you've been having a lot of anxiety about. Why is the Nine of Wands card here? What is this heavy burden? I mean, what is this storm that Aries has gone through? Nine of Wands, please clarify the Nine of Wands. What is this storm? What is the storm that Aries has gone through? That was too many cards. King of Swords. Um, some, something that has to do with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a mature air sign. There's been something that's been going on with this mature air sign that has been terrible for you. Tell me why the Seven of Wands is here. What's this defense about? Some kind of truth. You're defensive about some kind of truth, and it could have to do with um, this nine, nine of Cups. So this Nine of Cups, if you look at that person, they've been way into their cups. That person has been drinking too much. Their face is flushed. But there's some kind of truth about this person that's been drinking too much or something. Maybe it's somebody that you've been married to and and this might not be the King of Swords. You might be taking on the King of Swords energy and getting into like an intellectual leadership type position where you you're looking at something and you're using your mind about it now. <clears throat> and you're ready to help others get through whatever you've gotten through. This truth is going to come out, um, and it has to do with something that happened maybe while you were in your cups. You could have been in your cups. Somebody you know could have been in your cups. Somebody you're partnered with could have been in their cups, but you've had to have your defenses up about it. Aries. Okay, the situation. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? 
Ace of Pentacles, some kind of new money, new project, new job. Um, there's some kind of new job, maybe. And you have to have strength, courage to overcome something in order to maybe start this new job. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. What's this decision? What is this decision about? Knight of Pentacles. Something that's been slow moving. Some kind of slow offer. Some, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles here and this Knight of Pentacles um, has been real slow moving. Moving. This could be a younger, um, a younger Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it's you making a decision about this. Somebody is bringing you forth something. And you're having to make <clears throat> some type of a decision. Why is the Ace of Swords card here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Page of Cups. There's going to be a truth brought forward about some type of apology. Hmm. I think somebody is going to be offering you a job. And they're coming forward. And they, it's been really slow. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night. Very, very slow. And there's going to be some truth about some type of apology. Page of Cups represents some type of apology. Okay. What's the outcome here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? King of Rods, an inspired Leo <clears throat> leader. This could also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it could be you taking some, you invested something and now you're taking inspired action. Being a leader about something because the Six of Swords here, you moving on from something to calmer waters is clarified the Chariot. And the chariot is about movement. You being able to master the dark and the light. You have a dark black horse there and a white horse. Represents both the good and evil that one has in oneself. And then there's you with the reins, gaining victory over what you're moving on from. You're being an inspired leader. You planted the seeds about something, Aries. Why is this page of pentacles here? <clears throat> you got the nine of pentacles, which is you about being the single happy person. And there was other cards that came out. This is swift communication, the knight of swords. And we have here something creative. So it looks to me that, um, Aries, that you're getting some kind of message about something that you started as a single person. There's no more anxiety. Like some truth is coming to light about some kind of partnership that you, that you were in. You've had anxiety about it. And um, this partnership... You've gone through some type of storm and now you have the sword out. You're like the leader. You can practice discernment. Um, you have intellect on your side and there's truth coming to light about something that happened maybe while you were in your cups or your partner was in their cups and you had to have your defenses up about this. Maybe you were defending something in court I don't really see any justice cards in here, but it does show in the outcome that you've invested in something and now and now you're the inspired person. This is a fire sign card. You've become mature about something and you have victory and moving on to calmer waters. 
And it looks like your best bet is that you being the single happy person, you're going to get swift communication about some type of money and create a project that you've worked on. Okay, and underneath the deck, what's hidden to us, what's unconscious to us is the three of rods, which is you waiting for your ships to come in. You walked away from something. <laughs> it had to do with the law. This was the card underneath walking away. Some kind of balance had to happen and you needed to walk away in order for it to happen. Okay, Aries. If you like the reading, please hit the like button. And if you would like to hear future content, hit the subscribe button. Um, I plan on doing an extended for this. And in the extended, we'll look at what blocks you have and some advice you have moving forward and what else spirit wants you to know. So also pull a few more Oracle cards. So if you're interested, click the link below and join me on Vimeo. Bama P.